Hey guys, it's phase one once again with another video. Finally, the verdict has come out in regards to the Misk Odyssey and the Ambo Carrick in terms of an exploration ship. So I kind of want to go through the Q&A um, portion for you. Just came out, I think, today. Um, so I kind of want to go through that with you. That way we could uh, come to a resolve because as of late, there has been a little bit of a friction in terms of Carrick owners and in terms of Odyssey owners. So what we're going to see uh, what the answers will be in terms of uh, some of the questions that um, people were concerned about both ships. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so the Q&A for the Misk Odyssey. All right, so the first question that was asked was materials. Can What materials can the Odyssey refine? And does refined materials go straight to the fuel tank or the cargo bay? So the answer, the Odyssey can refine quantanium and hydrogen into fuel. The refinery solely exists to extend the ship's range. So refined fuel goes straight to the fuel tank rather than the cargo bay. All right, so that answers that. So initially, um, some Odyssey, people that wanted the Odyssey thought that uh, they will be able to refine and put and store it on the ship. So um, it's not really a refining ship. It's really meant for um, to allow it to survive out there uh, for longer periods of, um, periods of time. So um, that answers that question. Um, is the Odyssey able to refine material from other ships such as ore bags from the prospector? It's not planned at this point as there's no way to feed the onboard refinery other than the Odyssey's own mining arm. There we go. So it's not really built as a the refinery ship. There is a refinery ship um, that they, they are working on, but it's not this one, right? This is, um, from my understanding, is dedicated for exploration mainly. Um, all right, so the, the very next question is, in comparison to the Carrick, does the Odyssey have the capacity to conduct jump point mapping and scanning? The Odyssey does not have the ability to scan or map jump points to the same extent as the Carrick which remains the best current ship for that particular role. In general, all ships will have will be able to detect jump points, though the Carrick is simply better at it from much greater range for much greater ranges. All right, so this is one of the defining uh, differences between the Odyssey and the Carrick, right? So the Carrick can find jump points at longer ranges. The Odyssey isn't really built for that. It's more so seems like a, a general purpose type of explorer. Um, the Carrick is more uh, focused and more modular. So we'll get into the modular aspects of how the Carrick will serve. Um, but it seems like, um, yeah, the, the, the Odyssey is more so a, a general purpose ship and it's not really focused on finding jump points in and um, being able to detect the landscape of a star system just to see um, what's out there before actually going. So this is really a good opportunity because it will allow you, it will allow players to, um, that works with other people that own Odysseys to search out the star system to see if there's any danger out there before the Odyssey goes out in that direction. All right, so that is interesting. Um, what specialized sensors, scanners, if any, does the Odyssey have? I don't see any dedicated scanning mapping room or equipment. What tools does it give its crew for exploration and making discoveries? There are no dedicated rooms or specialized equipment as default, but that doesn't mean the Odyssey isn't is incapable of performing these functions. As a lot of future as a lot of future ships, um as a lot of future exploration gameplay mechanics will be driven from the station using the MFDs, so the lack of the dedicated room doesn't stop the activity from happening. However, ships that have the dedicated rooms for specific features will have buffs to um, to their ability as a result. Okay, so that makes sense. So um, ships that are more dedicated for scanning and, and, and exploration like um, a ship, for example, that has a dedicated scanner room is the MSR, right? So the MSR is going to naturally have an advantage in terms of scanning and, and data running as opposed to um, a, 
a constellation for example right so because it's built for that so that makes a lot of sense um all right so it's if you want to improve the scanning functionality of an odyssey there are multiple ships that excel that excel in the role that fits within the hangar such as the anvil um f7cr hornet and the terrapin all right so this is also really good for um odyssey owners as well so you won't have to worry too much about the range because if you bring let's say um, a terrapin you can also use the terrapin to go out and find out um and and discover certain areas before the odyssey needs to get there as well so this is also a plus for odyssey owners um so um, especially with its bigger hangar bay you have more options in terms of ships that you want to bring to further um enhance the odyssey's um exploration and adventures all right so um i think it's not a bad thing um so the next question is what's the difference between the odyssey and the carrick the biggest difference is the carrick specialization in various areas such as jump point scanning and mapping onboard drones and repair facilities and it's three modular cargo bays that can be outfitted in future for various purposes beyond cargo the odyssey however favors a more generalized approach with a flexibility to do a lot of separate roles depending on how you equip it with onboard ships ground vehicles and supplies all right so this is the, the, the defining point right here in, in terms of what sets it apart between the carrick and the odyssey so um just right here just right here this is this this is it right i feel like the odyssey is definitely not the carrot killer it's not the carrot killer by far the potential of the carrot right now has the carrot has no ceiling in terms of potential all right the carrot has no ceiling in terms of potential because of the modularity of the cargo base right um there is going to be a i know i heard about a science cargo bay possibly a refinery cargo bay um there is um some other ones that i that i can't think of right now but uh because of this modularity sex the carrot apart because you can specialize it for a specific role or you can make it more so of, of a swiss army knife um with different um um modules installed on the carrot so which is really really cool which kind of makes honestly personally as a carrot owner still makes Car the carrot the king you know in terms of exploration ships so um that is a defining um um factor right there that the odyssey is more so of a general purpose type of ship carrick is more specialized but still has right now has no ceiling in terms of potential so um i think it's a good thing it's, it's a good opportunity for people to instead of having to decide between the carrick or the odyssey but to also want to own both if you own a carrick earn the odyssey in game if you own an odyssey own, earn the carrot in game you know what i mean it's you can just get both which which is something i'm gonna do all right so the next question is um can the odyssey refuel other ships or is it limited to vehicles in a hangar the odyssey can only refuel ships uh landed in a hangar via an on foot manual refueling that's gonna be interesting i've never seen any on foot manual refueling but it looks like they're working on a mechanic um within the hangar which is going to be cool i'm interested to see how that's going to look how can the mill slot cockpit have excellent visibility the mill slot is actually quite a large opening and provides a significant panoramic view for everyone on the bridge so it looks like uh for those those that own freelancers that big um the 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 the, the went the um the uh what is what is this what is this called the the way the way the the front um the view the, the kind of view that you get inside of the uh the misc uh freelancer it's kind of essentially how it's going to look inside of the odyssey right so if you look at uh it's just like this this whole thing it's going to be sort of like a panoramic view so i, I when i seen it i, I was kind of like curious to see if it's really limited as i feel like they need to expand all this as an exploration but i feel like you need more space but from what they're saying is it's going to be enough so we'll have to see when the ship actually comes up but they're saying that this is big enough that you'll you'll get a good view of outside all right so that's that's essentially what what they're talking about right here all right um 
So the next question is which ships can fit in a hangar? Can you please uh, provide us some examples of an extra small ship? Um, extra small ships. Um, an extra small ship, an extra small hangar uh, generally refers to what a uh, community calls small ships. The non-exhaustive list of ships include an Avenger, Eclipse, that's pretty good. Um, Gladius, Saber, Arrow, Gladiator, um, a Hawk, a Hornet, Hurricane. Hurricanes are pretty big. Um, Terrapins, a Banu Defender, Mustang, Buccaneer, Herald, Prospector, 100 and 300 series, Aurora, and a Blade. So that's pretty interesting. You get a lot more options. That's one of the things that, that sets the Odyssey apart from the characters that you have more options in terms of what ships you want to bring along with you, which will help you expand in, in terms of the capability of the Odyssey as an exploration ship. So depending on what ship you bring along with you. All right, which is really cool. Um, ships such as the Vanguard, Cutlass, Freelancer, Reliant, and the Cartoon all are too big. They are the next size up. Okay. All right, so what are the rings you can see um, the people standing in the background of this shot? Some some kind of Xi'an grab lift. So that is right here. So it looks like this is the elevator, which is really cool. Kind of want to see, um, let me just see how this is going to look like. Um, but their answer is the Odyssey leverages a lot of Xi'an tech um, in its construction. And the image below shows the main personal lift. Yes, um, the top hanger also uses the Xi'an tech to fold the roof, which is cool. The roof door into a much smaller footprint than typically would be possible. Interesting. I, I gotta. I'm, I'm interested to see how that's gonna look. See, um, one one thing that I quick, quickly want to mention is the, the fact that they have to go back and revise the Carrick because the Carrick does need another entrance as. A large ship like that it needs a, a second entry so they need to also uh consider an elevator that will um that can uh, an elevator or a lift that can take you into the carrick aside from the main ramp all right so um do the size four shields on this large on this large ship mean that new component size category in between large and capital uh was added and they said the capital components are the same size the same as size four components we have five sizes in game and um and the terms are often interchange interchanged so yeah so size four is capital so one of the things that's going for the odyssey is the fact that it has a, cap a size four shield generator which is really really good it makes it a lot more tanky okay um does it come with the ground vehicle or snub like the carrick the standalone Odyssey comes with no included ship or ground vehicle, allowing you to customize your fleet as you wish. That's pretty straightforward. Um, how much space is there for ground vehicles? Could you fit a Spartan or multiple Cyclones? The ground vehicles are areas in the Odyssey is quite spacious and designed to carry vehicles in the size vehicles the size of the Ursa rover. While it shares an overall room with the cargo, with cargo, the two are separate, so carrying a maximum amount of cargo does not impede on the vehicle area. This means you can also sacrifice cargo space for additional vehicles. Okay, okay, interesting. This is really good. Um, it's not intended at this point to carry vehicles the size of a Nova, Ballista, or Spartan, although more um enterprising players can find a way to squeeze it in so yeah the option is there you could still probably fit it if you could fit it then it sits you know what i mean if it fits it sits so that's interesting that's that's another good thing that's going for the odyssey i like that um the brochure shows uh crew quarters but does a captain have their own room um slash facilities being a non-military design um, unlike the Carrick, there isn't a dedicated captain's quarters. However, every crew member has their own quarters. So it's up to the captain to decide which room they like best. All right. So, yeah, ultimately, ultimately, uh, just to conclude 50 minute video, um, just to conclude, the Odyssey is not a Carrick killer. I don't really think it's really competing with the Carrick. Um, rest assured that the Odyssey owners should be happy 
um, with what they want because it's more so like a generalized exploration ship and those that want something more specific with the modularity that the Carrick has can also get the Carrick. Me personally, I'm going to own both. I'm, I, I own the Carrick, but I'm going to earn the Odyssey in-game. Or if you own an Odyssey, maybe you should work in-game to also earn the Carrick in-game as well. So. Um, I think it's not really a bad thing. I think it's good that we can own both if you guys are interested in both. Um, all right. So if you if anything in this video, leave your comments on your thoughts on the Odyssey and this Q&A or, or the Carrick. All right. Just let me know uh, your thoughts down below in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already. All right. I'll see you on the next one.